this exercise is really good because it's some in the moment decision making for something that, you know, like a C major scale, you're going to basically play it up from your lowest available note of the scale, which on a four string standard tune bass is going to be the third of the scale E all the way up to my highest available note within that scale, which same bass would be a high D. And so I'm just going to play the scale C major scale up and down from that point and basically not have a set fingering in mind ahead of time. And, you know, go, go as slow as I need to, to do that. So it would sound something like this. So I'm going back down a different way than I went up. And it's kind of a nice, not only you know, a technical thing, but it's a really good mental warm up. Like sometimes if I have a really early gig, this will be my warm up in whatever key I'm about to play in. Or uh, what I like to do at home is cycle through the circle of force with this exercise. So basically you go up in one key and back down. And when you get to the bottom, now instead of C, you're gonna go up a fourth. Now you're playing F major scale and you kind of keep cycling. So if I start in C, Now when I get to the bottom, now I'm thinking F major, so I have B flat in there. Now when I get to the bottom, I'm going to be thinking B flat major, so now I'm adding E flats. And now I'm going to switch to E flat major, so A flats as well. <laughs> yeah. And so on and so forth, you know, but it's a good one. You know, I usually go through it fairly slow or you'll reach a key that you're finding. Okay. This one I really need to take some time with and you just isolate that key for a while. And maybe you do come up with a set finger at first and you try and divert from that. Me switching mentally, like hearing the key change. I think that will be the toughest thing for me. And like you said, it's a great you know, fingering exercise as well as just kind of being aware of what key you're in. So now you have to actively listen like, okay, now I, I just switch keys, not just playing the, you know, the B flat, adding that in now that I'm, now that I'm in that key, but actually hearing that you're in that key instead of just hearing some jumbled, you know, notes just to kind of put together. But as you were playing it, I'm hearing like, okay, where's the starting point? So that might be a good exercise too. Like, you know, while you're even listening to this, see where that, that tonic note is like see where the root note lies and then you can follow along the scale afterwards so that's what i'm doing literally in my head as you're playing this